When is it the universe testing you to make you stronger? Or when is it the universe giving you a sign saying, stop going the wrong way? How do you identify these two things? Today, we want to understand all of this. I did not manifest my breakfast all by myself this morning or yesterday or the day before, or I will not be able to. Now, this might be, you feel that's disempowering. I will not be able to manifest dinner tonight by myself. No, you cannot. Now you're probably thinking, what, why, why are you disempowering me like that? You say I can't even manifest my dinner tonight. Do you not realize that if we can call collective energies we can call universe or we can call God whatever that divine energy is that you want to label it do you not realize if they don't want you to have dinner tonight it's out of your control do you not realize that doesn't matter how much you want to have dinner tonight if they don't want you to have your dinner tonight you will not have your dinner tonight you don't realize that? Do we not realize that there would have been many people last night who were making their plans for today that are no longer here? Do we not realize that there will be many, many, many people who made plans for today that are no longer here? out of their control. We do not like life and death. Think about that a very big topic. Such a big thing, a big moment of our life, the moment we leave, even that is outside of our control. You know, let's say for example, today I'm going to manifest meeting a person tonight that person doesn't show up. It's co-creation. If that person doesn't show up, it doesn't happen. Nothing you can do. Try. I try. Try all formats. Car breaks down. Try. I fix it. Have, have, have any of you had a moment where you f really feel like you are doing something against the grain? Like, it's like, you know what? Like, I try one way, not working. Try another way, not Try another way. You know, you're joking me. You got to be joking me here. How many of you ever had a moment like that before? Right? After this talk today, hopefully you'll be, be able to easily identify hey, sometimes if the collective does not have that plan for you, forcing it won't help anything. But there's a fine line though that we have to be very clear about because there's a fine line being a person who gives up too easy and a person who is actually following divine alignment. How many of you are following what I'm saying there when I say that, right? How do you know? But motivational speakers tell me to never give up. Meanwhile, spiritual teachers tell me, you see, sometimes if it's not right, just let it go. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. But how do you learn these two things? You're like, hey, it sounds a little bit like it's contradicting each other. What am I supposed to do then? Am I supposed to just let it be? Or am I supposed to keep trying? When is it the universe testing you to make you stronger? Or when is it the universe giving you a sign saying, stop going the wrong way? How do you identify these two things? Today, we want to understand all of this. How many of you think it would help to understand all of this? Because then we can navigate better as we move forward. Hey, I always say, if you're working with the universe, if you're working with the collective to co-create things, you, you, it's going to be a lot more favorable for you. If you're working yourself and the whole collective is wanting to go the other way, my God, <laughs> you're going to have a crazy time. We don't know how many cuts and bruises you're going to get until you actually get there, you know? Sure. So how do we follow that divine guidance. 
is the question. Okay? Everything is in co-creation, even if you say, I just want to eat a piece of chocolate. If the universe doesn't want you to eat chocolate today, you will have no way of eating it. It will be something, some barrier get in the way, shop will instantly close, whatever will not, the phone's not working, something will, you know, things will happen and it feels like it's out of your control. Okay, so how do we learn from this? Well, first of all, we need to learn, the first thing is not to fear. There should be no fear. We should remove fear. And how do we remove fear? It's not about really getting rid of fear. It's more to do with how we deal with that fear, the feeling of fear. Whenever we go on a path and we feel like, I don't know, I'm losing faith, I'm losing trust on this thing. Who do we trust? What do we trust? I want you guys to ask yourself a question. We're going to keep concluding on that point we said just before, that everything is in co-creation. If universe doesn't want something to happen, it won't happen. The worst thing that could possibly happen to any of us right now is we finish. Our life finishes just for whatever reason it finishes. But I want to ask you this question. How many of you have had a moment in the past before? Be honest here, right? You're playing pillow fighting. You are, I don't know, you're just driving and you put your head out the window. I don't know. Get some fresh air. You, you are falling off a boat. You are swimming and feel like you can't swim anymore. You are doing, just you've ever had from childhood to now a glimpse of that split second where you actually thought you may die. How many of you had a moment like that before? Doesn't matter what it was, swimming, playing a sport, riding a horse. It doesn't matter what it was, right? You had a split. Look at all these yeses. Look at all these yeses. How's that possible? Thousands of people from all around the world tuned in and so many, so many, so many yeses. How is it possible that we all legit in that moment thought we were going to die? Now I want to ask you a question, okay? How many of you managed to survive? Meaning you did not die. Raise your hand if you managed to survive. You did not die. Okay. <laughs> good. Okay, good. I don't know if you've ever thought about this before. I don't know if you ever put your hand to your heart just to thank God or thank the universe for this. Like, oh my God. Like, you're saying that in that moment, I actually thought that I was legit going to die. And somehow, how many years later, I'm actually still alive. Wow, wow, wow. That's why it says on page 42, when we time to visit our history, when we revisit our history, we will realize what? We will realize that even at a time where you felt like the worst was going to happen, you were going to die. You didn't die. Now, if I ask you the question, I said, what did you do to not die? Your answer will most most of you will be nothing really. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't. I just I don't know. Just waited and then I didn't die. 